102.7 KISS FM. It's time for Ryan's Roses. Raven in Pasadena found something in her husband's desk drawer. It's a list of every woman he has spent real time with. Gone all the way with. Yes. Raven, good morning. Hi. Hi. I have a lot of questions, but let me just keep it to the simple ones here. You found the list. What did you read? Yeah, um, I found a list of every woman he's ever slept with. And How uh, many names are on the list? A lot. I uh, He didn't number it. It's about 36. 36? What? And wow. your name was not on the list. My name was on the list. Oh. My name just wasn't the last name on the list. That is bizarre. That answers my next question, because I was going to say, well, maybe, strangely, he kept this list for from before you were together, and you found it, but if your name is on there and it continues on, how, where's your name fall at the Like, how far from the end is your name? So I'm, at, I'm second to last. Why would he? Do? It's almost like he's asking to get caught. If this is what's yeah, really going on, one more name after after mine. And do you have the list? Was it like in a journal? I do. Yeah. Are there dates? There are. Can you tell how recently were the last two before you? Um. If so, I'm I'm the second to last. Um. The name after mine was from um, about a month ago. How long have you been married? Five years. What is the date of when the list started? Uh, when he was uh, 14, which is when I know that he lost his virginity. So, And you have not confronted him, I'm assuming. Nope. All right, we're going to do that for you. Hold on one second. We'll come back. Wow. I don't know what we're going to find out. He's clearly cheating. Yeah. Trying Rose. So Raven found a list of uh, who her husband has been with, and she, he's married to her. She's not the last on the list. There's another name after her on the list. What, I mean, what are you looking for here? You want, isn't that proof enough? I guess I'm just concerned that if I confront him, he's just going to come up with an excuse. And I want to know for sure, you know, I want to catch him in the act. Well. And maybe, I don't know, I'm naive, but I'm hoping that there is an actual explanation for this. Maybe there is. And let's find out. We're going to call him right now. I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call and then your husband's name. Go ahead. You have my permission to call. Okay. We're going to do it now. Be very quiet, Raven. Let's see what we can find out. Good luck. Okay. Hello. Hi. Is this Joe? She? Hi, Joe. My name is Tammy. I'm calling from Enchanted Floral Design. How are you doing this morning? Uh, I'm good. The thank reason, you. the reason for How this, doing? I'm good. Thank you. The reason for this call is actually really great. Um, we deliver all over LA, including Pasadena. We're on Colorado, and we're offering a promotion. It's a free dozen red roses that you can send to anybody that you'd like. They are free. I don't need cash from you or billing info or anything like that. We're just trying to promote our new business. Okay. Is there anybody you would want to send free roses why to? Me though. We pick people at random about once a month, so it's your lucky day. Got it. Okay. Um, I guess, sure. Great. We can start with the name of the person. Uh, let's go ahead and send them to Kathy. Kathy? Yeah. Okay. And what would you like to put on the note? Um, just put a heart and my initial next to it. Perfect. If you can. Yep, no problem. Joe, your voice is being broadcast on the radio, and we've got your wife, Raven, on the line. What do you have to say to her? I'm sorry, what? 
What would you like to say to your wife, Raven, who's on the line, who you just sent flowers to another woman? What would you like to say to your wife? My, my wife called you? Your wife called oh. me with the list of women that Raven. you have been with, a complete and thorough Raven. list. She knows that she's not the last one on the list. How do you explain it? You there, man? Yeah, I'm here. Heartbroken. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, don't cry. Everything is cool. Yeah. Yo, what? What? what, what um, explain. Who is Kathy? Uh, that's um, that's just a friend of mine. Raven, is Kathy on the list? You have? Is, do you see Kathy on your list? Yeah, that's the last name what? on the list. Wait, 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 what list? What are you talking about? Joe, come on. Everybody's grown up here. Just tell us what's going on. You're keeping a list. It's got every woman you've been with on that list. Now you are married. Raven's not the last name on the list. You just sent the roses to Kathy. So what's going on? How many different people are you cheating with? Can you answer the question? Baby, no. Look, like, That's not what it is. Um, what is it, Joe? It's just, you know, people I know, you know, it's just the people that I've met, like, throughout time and whatnot. You know, I put them in there. Oh, and then on. you send flowers, too? Come on. Right. She's a lot. I mean, look, you're never around. Oh, my God. What did you expect? What? Like, what am I supposed to do? I, I never see you anymore. Because I'm working and trying to get my degree so that... We can move out of your parents' house? Are you kidding me? I mean, good for you, but this is not what I signed up for. Oh. Raven. Oh, my God. Are you okay. serious? Like, you're doing this to me? Like, <laughs> like on the okay, radio? Joe, come oh, on. Doing this has to done you. this to you, Gaslighter. How long have you been seeing Kathy and other others you're actively seeing now? Look, I don't need to explain myself to you. You do not need to explain to me. But Raven's wondering the same thing. You can tell her. Okay. Okay, fine. Um, how many, Joe? Well, how many How many you see in Raven's words, I'm sure, if she were to ask? I don't even do this. I don't explain nothing to nobody. All right, we're going to let you go, Joe. Thank you very much for answering our questions. Yeah, he said enough, honestly. Yeah, I would say I don't, we don't need much more. Raven, you have your answer. I think there's no other choice for you but then to get out of this relationship. Yes, leave him. We wish you happiness, and I hope you can get through this um, and find some okay. peace. Thank you, Raven. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. To me, unbelievable how he tried to spin it and turn it to say, look what you made me do, and how could you do this to me? Right. Like, all right. What a narcissist. Let's talk about this list thing. I didn't trust him from the beginning. Wow. When you see a list of people, what do we need to make a call for? Can we do Ryan's Roses? Let's go back to this. So, very interesting. A lot, a lot of things going, a lot of moving parts. So, Raven is married to Joe, and Joe has a list that he kept in his drawer of women he's been with. She finds the list. It's got 36 names on it from 2014 on. They're married. She, Raven, is his wife, not the last name on the list. So we know he's caught. He's got an active list. He gets on the phone. He says, that's not what's about. Anyway, we get to the meat of it. And he says, well, yeah, I'm seeing Kathy. He sent the roses to Kathy. Kathy's the last name on the list. Yeah, I'm seeing Kathy because you're never around. And how could you do this to me? How could you call a radio station and do this to me? I mean, total gaslighting, total spinner, total narcissism, right. all of it. Telling her, I didn't sign up for this. Like, they're living at your parents' house. Like, how about she didn't sign up for this? She's with him at his parents' house while she's working, trying to get her degree, trying to get them out of there. Right. And he's seen other women. Ugh. There's no option. Pig. No option. She's got to get out. Marisol and Torrance, what was your take on that Ryan's Roses? <laughs> Well, I mean, I really don't understand why dudes feel like they have to keep lists of things. Well, uh, that's what I want to, and I was Googling this mm -hmm. during the break. Uh, there's a glamour, like, is it common for guys or women to keep written down lists of the women they've been with? Well, let me tell you, back oh in the day God. when I a had a journal... <laughs> 
I mean, I've seen guys keep lists, and not just, like, basic lists. They write down girls' names. They rate them, like, 5 out of 10, 8 out of 10. And I, I was blown away when but I saw that. Why? Like, what? Is this really a thing? Is that for their own ego, or they want to get... Why, why is it? I, I don't know. I would assume it's, it's got to be an ego thing. It's very... Uh, Ew. It's strange and disturbing. So I'm trying to read. So there is, a, I mean, you can Google it. There is a Glamour article that says, why do people keep lists of past partners? But I can't read it while talking, so I'm struggling, scrolling. But there is something <laughs> that exists about it. And I see percentages of men, percentages of women. And it's, too, it's a long article. So I guess it's something that is more common than we think. I but don't that's know. A deal. I, I wrote everything down in high school and college. So I have a journal of all this. I don't even oh. make grocery lists. <laughs> <laughs> it's a self-development <laughs> exercise, apparently. So it's good for you? It reminds you how but, far you've come. But come on, this guy is not only cheating, he's cheating and writing it down and keeping it in his desk drawer. I mean, yeah, and he's... He hasn't developed in any great way at all, so not working for him. All right, Marisol, thank you for listening. That's Ryan's Roses. Every Monday, every Thursday, 7.40, we start it, and we roll into 8 o'clock with it. 